The Quikila Secondary School has seen better days when it was the pride of the Rigo and Abao people educating their sons and daughters who became the privileged elites. Now that was years ago. Today the school is in a sad and desperate state. The grounds are kept tidy, but the lack of maintenance and predominant decay cannot be hidden. The rusty roofs, weathered ceilings, walls and stairs all scream for attention. But each year, the school opens its doors for hundreds of children to get an education. Pony Kila has been the school principal since 2011, and he's come up with a new approach to address the issue. With the free education, Mr. Kila used the money paid by the government to purchase a Lucas mill and chainsaw to saw timbers to build a new classroom and staff house. The trees are from the headmaster's land and are cut without any payment. And I want to, you know, we Rigo people, we play too much politics and we are not helping our school. So I want to show to other Rigo people, other parents and assistants that are, for us to change our school. We don't have to rely on money. We don't have to rely on other people. We must do things ourselves. So we are asking parents to help us with a tree or so, so that we can come in and mill it and continue to maintain our do maintenance in our school. On selected days, students help out at Yobuna Toll Village in inland Rigo, where the trees are cut and milled. I'm a long time school, I'm a long school. First group is going to go to the first second group is going to go to the second group. I'm a long time school. The Quikila Secondary School is also looking at building a double-story classroom and two other teachers' houses with this new approach. Delhi Bagu, National MTV News.